In the aftermath of the Me Too movement, it is important to discuss the role of a bystander in fighting sexual violence and harassment. Joining us right now is Indira Nadu Harris, the Minister of the Status of Women. And we are talking about a new movement, but I should say it's not necessarily new. It's kind of a relaunch of what we've seen and really a prevalence of what we've seen in society. So the need for it. Good morning. Good morning. Really pleased to be here. Absolutely. You know, the safety of women and girls in our province is a key priority for our government. And so we're launching, relaunching actually the video campaign, Who Will You Help? Basically because we know it works. It actually changes people's behaviors and it empowers them if they see sexual violence and harassment happening to mm -hmm. actually help people out and do the right thing. So what we've seen lately, um, of course, in the wake of Harvey Weinstein and, and, and a lot of people now speaking out, we aren't necessarily hearing about the bystander because then you go just just looking at Hollywood. Of course, it, it takes place in, in, in every realm, but in Hollywood, a lot of actors are saying, oh, we knew. We knew he was like that. So why didn't someone speak up? And that's exactly what you want to bring about. That is exactly it. I mean, this is absolutely about empowering bystanders to play a role. We all have a role to play when it comes to preventing sexual violence and harassment. And this campaign we know works. We uh, played it for about three years mm -hmm. and it actually showed that it changed behavior. And so the time is right. The Me Too campaign has really started a very difficult and disturbing conversation. But we all have to, a role to play in society when it comes to preventing violence against women and girls. The Me Too march is happening in major cities all around the world. I know you took part yes. as well here in Toronto. What were you hearing from people was this one of the things where people said bystanders do need to speak up not just the victims themselves uh, absolutely so this is about changing fundamental behavior as a society this is a problem that we need to uh, understand we need to identify and we need to act on and the women that were at the me too march uh, that I was at and also several women's marches over time have really been saying um, the time is now we need to take action we will no longer be standing on the wayside and by bystanding mm -hmm. and watching things happen it's time to really put a stop and prevent sexual violence and harassment and we are going to do this as a community and we need to change attitudes, we need to change behaviors and we need to work together to really improve our lives. So let's talk about what the Ontario government is doing because I know there's a, a various programs that will be launching because this is something that needs to be addressed. Absolutely. So uh, we are doing a number of different things. For example, right now I'm working on a gender-based violence strategy. Uh, you'll be hearing about more about that in the next little while. This is a strategy that will bring various tools in government into place and make sure we have a full framework and blueprint to attack this problem. Mm -hmm. But in addition to that, we launched a sexual violence and harassment plan years ago. We also just recently launched $1.7 million as part of a program called It's Your Shift. And it really is an empowering tool to identify and stop violence and harassment when uh, frontline workers see it happen, like waiters, sure. you know, people in hotels, bartenders. We have a, a pilot program training uh, police officers. We've brought in paid leave uh, for survivors of domestic uh, violence mm -hmm. so that they can actually take a break and uh, heal and take care of the important things in their lives. So a lot of different things. There's a lot of uh, movement on this topic because we really know that this is something we have to tackle, not just as a government, but as a community as a whole. Absolutely. A lot of work still needs to be done, but this is the right step. Absolutely. All right. If you want more information, of course, you can go to breakfasttelevision.ca. Also, if you want to have a closer look at the campaign, ontario.ca slash who will you help. Thank you so much for coming in. My pleasure.